Hello, my friends. We're back with the reading of the Medium's book. And today, we're going to talk about the um, replies that were given by the spirits of St. Louis. And since it's a long conversation we with that spirit, we're going to introduce step by step, little by little, video by video, episode by episode, so it uh, you can understand it better, okay? Because it's a lot of information. Well, the following replies were given by the spirits of St. Louis. They have since been confirmed by many others. And by many others, they made a note saying the following. Louis, Louis uh, IX, King of France, surnamed the saint, the self-announced spirit guardian of the Kardec Society of Paris. This is not the first time that manifestations have been alleged to be made by him. Much was written and said as far back as the year 1820 concerning the vision of the Duchess de Berry, which occurred soon after the murder of her husband and shortly before the birth of her son, the present Count de Chambord. Although the child was not yet born, he seemed in the vision to he standing before his mother, with St. Louis at his side. The Duchess, in her vision, put a crown on the child's head, but St. Louis took it off. St. Louis presently, afterwards, put on the child's head another crown, probably then not the one of divine right, but when and where will that second crown be worn? The Duchess, after this, after this vision, said that said she was sure her child would be a son, which her father-in-law, afterwards Charles X, uh, said, was presumptuous. To which she replied, "Ah, Papa, Saint Louis knows better than you do." Miss Wynn, daughter of Sir uh, Watkin Williams Wynn in her Diary of a Lady of Quality, gives a letter on this subject from the Pope's Nuncio, Louis IX of France, who died in the year 1270, was placed in the rank of saints by the Church, although he had not hesitated to resist the Pope in the cause of justice. He was greatly beloved by the people, whom he protected from the oppression of the nobles. He also upheld the liberties of Tito Town of, of Tio Town, sorry, of Tio Towns, telling his son that the more free you make them, the more your enemies will fear you. Well, and then we get back to the conversation, just the first conversation, the first question to the spirit. Is the universal fluid an emanation of the divinity? And by universal fluid, you can say also universal energy, okay? Because at that time, on the 1800s, they didn't have this word yet, in like energy. Uh, and the spirit replies, no. Well, on the next episode, we're gonna answer a lot of other questions and among them is uh, this one is the um, universal fluid a creation of the divinity and there's more to to come after this one okay i hope you guys have liked this reading as much as i do i leave you with a big kiss god bless you all see you next time bye bye